Good evening to you, the cyclists of Wales. I'm Adam Holt, and welcome back to another episode of the Welsh Cycling News Network. This is episode two, and we have a full lineup of great cycling stories. This is a show that brings together all disciplines across all areas of Wales under one roof. In this episode, we have the actual world record attempt by James Coxon, another young ambassador update, race report, and a club visit to East Newport Cycle Speedway Club. All that and more in the Welsh Cycling News Network. kick off this episode with a club visit to East Newport Cycle Speedway Club with an incredible family atmosphere the club's youth session had a very happy vibe and was great to see so many of their club jerseys in one session it was like a sea of orange tops that almost matched the shale track they rode on it was great We started the club in 2005. The track has always been here. A couple of us were going to renovate what was here and just turn it into a junior club. It just grew and grew. And within four years, we were racing the top flights. We always say as a family, we focus a lot on child welfare, looking after each other and making sure that we instill that team spirit within each other as well. Get the, the younger riders sort of uh, encouraged by the older riders. Cooper's out on gate three, Braden on gate two, Alex is off gate four, and Noah's out on gate one. I've come back to the sport after 12 years out, after living in France and the club was always something that meant a lot to me younger, so why not take the sport back up? Because it's really fun and, and you get to do team racing. Because we get to do racing and I love racing. And it's fun. Yeah, and it's great to get to racing. It's also a good way to get children off the streets into something that keeps them active. Getting that adrenaline out and being able to just have fun with your friends and get stuck into something that could take you places. It is cheap, with the club giving the guys the chance to race on equipment as well that's provided by the club, the guys just turn up with the basics. Is that a last race? Not yet, but in the course if they want to go further they can then invest in the things that come later on with it. We supply all the racing jerseys and the bikes. Some of the riders like to buy their own bikes, but like we, we provide as many bikes as we can. We're all run off basic volunteer work at the end of the day and there's a lot of work that goes into the clubs behind the scenes for these guys to be able to come out. We've got a committee of about 10 people and they've done an absolutely fantastic job doing their own little job and adding to the, uh, to the value of the club. Keep an eye on us, I mean follow us on Facebook. We've got some great events coming up for this year but next year things are really going to take off. We're hoping that we're going to land the European Club Championship. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. You've done a great job. We'll do that more often because it's pairs and it's individual, no, yeah? And you were all, every single one of you tried so hard. Yeah. Okay. Right. Bye. right, if you're having chips, have chips. Yeah. Ali, there's a bag of chips in there for you. Well done, thank you very much. If you are interested in giving the fast-paced team sport of Cycle Speedway a go, the club meet on Tuesday and Thursday evenings from 6 to 8pm at the East Newport Cycle Speedway track in Underwood, Newport, South Wales. Speedway is a phenomenal sport and I even gave it a go last week during a Welsh Cycling staff session. We weren't that good. So if you're interested in seeing more Cycle Speedway actually from some people who actually know what they're doing, we went along to the Newport versus East Newport Welsh Derby, which are an incredible day of racing and crazy bike handling skills. You can see that in the link in the description. In other updates from clubs around Wales, Afstrup CC Juniors have just finished their summer series switching between Aberystwyth and Llandelos. This was a free race series for nursery and reception age all the way up to year 7 and beyond. The series was a huge success with nearly 90 kids taking part across the races. A huge thank you to Astrid CC Juniors and Havron CC as well as the sponsors Summit Cycles and Continental for the hard work in putting on the series and giving kids in the area an opportunity to ride a bike and pin on a number. From the up-and-coming youth riders to the people who inspire them, in the last episode we shared the story of James Coxon, a recumbent trike rider who was about to attempt a world record. Well, he has now completed the world record attempt and we have shared the full video on our YouTube channel. But here we have a short version of the attempt with an incredible athlete and his great team behind him from Newport Live. <laughs> Yeah, 
yeah, excited. Uh, sorry, voice just went up. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling excited. Well, it's going to be painful. I expect that. Probably after an hour and 20 minutes, I'll be in a fairly dark place. Well, the train's for about six months ready. Strength and conditioning to start with and then building up the miles. Some work on the track with Brian here from our Newport Live. From a training point of view, there has been a number of sessions every week on a Saturday. Each lap was timed consistently between 18.5 and 19 seconds. We think we're prepared, we're as prepared as we can be anyway. That was the hardest thing I've done. It's just so hard mentally. After one hour and 20 minutes, just trying to keep the effort up. And it just feels like you've got 40 minutes to go. And there's no let up on the bends. Thank you for coming, guys. I really appreciate your support. What an amazing achievement for James and for Wales. Good luck to James at the World Championships in Austria this month. And talking of World Championships, this week we have seen the Cycling World Championships take place in Scotland with some amazing results from Welsh riders across the board in many disciplines and there's still more competition to come. We will catch up with some of the athletes who have competed in the next episode. But to celebrate the World Championships taking place in the UK here at Welsh Cycling, we have brought the Worlds to Wales with the Worlds in Wales Summer Programme with events for young riders across Wales throughout August and September. With pump track jams, open track sessions, pro rider visits, including recently crowned world champions, music, good food, you really don't want to miss these events. Find out more on our website, just search for Worlds in Wales or click the link in the description. We have events in Newport, Wrexham, Carmarthen, Gilwern and Pembrey. Get the dates in your diaries right now. We have a big focus this month on performance around the World Championships and the Commonwealth Youth Games where we sent a strong team to compete in Trinidad and Tobago. It's great to take a bit of time to remember where these riders came from. It's the race organisers, coaches and volunteers who have built such a strong foundation right here in Wales for these athletes to stand on and building the next generation of coaches in Welsh Cycling, the Young Ambassador Programme. We caught up with these inspiring young people on their coaching course. Continuing with the Young Ambassadors journey here in Wales, we are here at the coaching course in Bridgend, which is specifically designed to help the Young Ambassadors move on in their coaching careers. Well, we're all doing our level one coaching course. Today we've been doing lots of different cycling techniques, so like cornering, bike handling, braking, stuff like that. It's a great opportunity for us Young Ambassadors to get involved with coaching. You know, that's the sort of thing we develop into it. Like we start with volunteer at our clubs. I think it's a chance to develop what we do as Young Ambassadors. We're given loads of opportunities. I just love seeing the community the tea, everything like that, seeing everyone get along, you see the same faces all the time, but you also get the chance to meet new people. Applications for the Young Ambassador Programme are open for our next intake and you can apply now through the link in the description. The Young Ambassador Programme has been led by Welsh Cycling's coach and training lead Tim Matthews who deserves recognition this month as he has been selected to be part of the Home Nations Coaching Leadership Programme where Tim will join a team of coach leaders across multiple sports to help build a system to support coaches in the future. Good luck Tim. Now from coach to mechanic we have partnered with Tire Glider recently to run the Tire Glider Tire Change Challenge where we were looking for the fastest tire changer in Wales 
the competition has now ended. We're not sure we found the fastest, but we will be picking the winner of the Fan Zone Challenge right here today. But before we do, here are some of the entries for the Tire Glider Tire Change Challenge. Well, cycling and tyre glider are looking for the fastest tyre changer in Wales. I'm ready. Don't I need a tyre glider? I need one. <laughs> ready, steady, go! Oh, God. Oh, no. So, what we've got here is who's this? Tom Hurst. This is Tom Hurst. All right, so I've got the hat right here now uh, with, with the names in. It's gonna. Uh, oh, what's this? That's a that's a tire glider. What a lovely looking tool. You can should get one of these if you haven't got one uh, but one person who won't have to get the brand new tire glider that actually works is um bronwyn howard reese please get in touch and uh, we will send you some prizes you will win a tire glider and a 50th year anniversary or cycling jersey if you want to be in with a chance of winning some great prizes, we do have another Fan Zone Challenge on our website live right now with the Transport for Wales, where we want to see your active travel journeys. Upload your photos and videos of your active travel commutes and win a set of family Welsh flag designed Limar helmets and a Transport for Wales goodie bag. Why would you not? Jumping straight back in now with some race action, we have had busy month of events here in Wales with the British Downhill Championships, the Youth Junior Track Championships, the Welsh Cycle Speedway Derby and the National Four Cross Series. This is The Race Report. little bit of research on four cross but it's not uh, a discipline I am that familiar with so let's find out a little bit more about what four cross is oh. so I would describe four cross as like mountain biking meets BMX you've got all the sort of fun jumps and the group riding of BMX mixed with like the rock gardens and the technical aspect of mountain bike So this is the bottom of the four cross track. The riders will have two separate lines to take. Still a bit mad for me. BMX 
race is amazing, but then four cross is more chilled out for less stressful race days. It's a good bit of fun. Well, downhill's a bit rubbish, really boring, waiting <laughs> around all the time, and this stuff's real good fun. Bring your family, bring your friends, get involved, get on the gear. What an epic collection of races right here in Wales. If you'd like to see more full coverage from the Four Cross series in Avon and the East and the Newport versus East Newport Cycle Speedway race report, they're both in the description. This month we also put a call out for the North Wales Working Group. As part of our commitment to our action plan following the road shows, we want you to join us in developing cycling in North Wales. If you're passionate about cycling and living in North Wales, you can now send in your expression of interest to the link in the description. And lastly, we have released the details of our AGM and conference, which will be held on Sunday, 17th of September at the Garrett Thomas Wales National Velodrome. And we'll include coaching and event organisers conferences, which will kick off a packed programme through to January. If you want to get involved and learn more about coaching and event organisers, click the link in the description to book your places and that's it for this episode of the Welsh Cycling News Network if you're enjoying the show please like and subscribe to the Welsh Cycling TV's YouTube channel let it lets us know that this is something you want us to continue to deliver and it helps get the word out there to a wider audience so please share this video with your community and if you would like to see your content make its way into the news network or the race report shows please share your photos and videos to our news network needs you fan zone challenge where looking for exciting stories from you the cyclists of Wales we can't be everywhere so please help us populate this show by sending in your clips in the next episode we'll have more incredible stories from bike riding community more race reports and even a chance to watch me try and flatland BMX I mean if that's not something worth coming back for I don't know what is until then I've been Adam Holt and this was the Welsh Cycling News Network